Okay, so if we are to factor this problem, the first thing is to look for a GCF. So there is no number that can go into 18, 45, 2, and 5. So no GCF. The next step is there are 1, 2, 3, 4 terms, so that means we need to factor this using grouping. So I'm going to pair the first two together, first two terms, and then the last two terms together. And then we need to think of a number that can go into 18 and 45, so 9. And they both have a's in common, so a squared. Okay, now here, is there a number that goes into 2 and 5? The highest number that goes into 2 and 5 is 1, so they have nothing in common, so I need a 1. And then 1 times negative 2a is negative 2a, but then these won't match. So that is how I know that it shouldn't be negative 2a, that this needs to be a minus 1 here. And then negative 1 times 2a. So negative 1 times 2a makes negative 2a. And then negative 1 times positive 5. So negative 1 times positive 5 makes negative 5. So we have successfully made this match. So that's what we're looking for. When that matches, then we're going to um, factor out the 2a plus 5. So we're going to bring one of them down. And then we're going to put the 9a squared with the negative 1. Okay, next thing as we look here, this is a binomial. So we need to use our rules for binomials. We need to look for uh, the difference of two squares or the sum or difference of two cubes, which there is none for 2a plus 5. Okay, and then here we have a binomial. So we're looking for the same, the difference of two squares or the summing difference of two cubes. And so since we know that 3a times 3a is 9a squared, and 1 times 1, that's how we know that it is a difference of two squares. So we're going to have 3a plus 1 and 3a minus 1. And then now we can't go any further with any of these, so this is our factored form, and it's factored completely.